Hi, good afternoon. Um, I'm better known as the attention-seeking, desperate housewife of Bandra. Um, I'm a mother of two, a 12-year-old and a 9-year-old. I'm married to a Bollywood actor-director, Kamal Sadana, who's not here. He stays far away from me right now. Um, he's learning to deal with this. <laughs> we are avid uh, bike riders since I was very young. And the reason I do this is I, because I've had three near-death experiences. And I'd like to share them with you and the reason why I have this helmet on is my journey. It's my journey to awareness. Uh, when I was 15, uh, I was very drunk. I was at a party. My parents didn't know I had gone out. They were very, um, they were Christian, orthodox, strict, hardworking, middle class parents. Um, we were two girls being raised in Sri Lanka and they were I thought exceptionally strict. I guess, you know, they had certain values and morals. Um, living in Sri Lanka in a codependent society, I wasn't used to that and I was already rebelling. I was a straight A student. I was basketball captain, swimming. So I thought I had all the avenues covered, but it wasn't good enough for my parents. They wanted me to be home. So at 15, I was out. I snuck out. I was very, very drunk, and I got on a bike with a friend of mine. I needed to get home. And there was another friend who decided that she wanted to come along as well. And in those days, we were riding super bikes without helmets. And um, we were riding super bikes without helmets, and the three of us decided to get onto this bike. Of course, at 100 kilometers an hour, we crashed. Um, the friend of mine who was riding, he was also drunk. He broke his leg in three places. My friend behind cut her head open in, and had 24 stitches. Um, she had, it's actually, my hands are shaking when I think about it because I was 15 and I can't believe how lucky I was. And um, I was sitting in the middle. Um, I woke up in hospital and the only thing I had lost was um, the blue stilettos that I had and a fingernail. Um, the most frightening thing for me was to wake up and see my father looking down at me and I was uh, mortified of what he would do but I was grounded for life I was I was grounded for life um, slowly and surely that didn't change things I um, it should have made me you know wake up and smell the coffee but at 15 you don't know better I moved to Pune and at 18 still riding um, still riding bikes. The bikes were smaller. I was with a girlfriend of mine and we were riding over Wadia College Bridge and there were some guys chasing us and they tried to grab her. And in what happened, I think their car hit the back of my bike. I lost control. The friend of mine went flying across the road and she only stopped when she hit a pole. I was found dangling um, on barbed wire. It's Amazing that when I was asked to talk today and I wanted to relate these stories, but children don't realize um, what we do, what our actions and how, you know, how it affects other people. Because when I got out of the barbed wire and I saw my friend across lying on the road, all I could think of was, what am I going to tell her mother? What am I going to tell her sister? This is me. This is on me. This is my fault. I was riding. You know, helmets were not even there in the scene. There were no helmets, but I was riding. She was my responsibility. She may not have woken up. Um, she had eight stitches, and uh, by God's grace, she's fine. We're still best friends. Um, she opens up her head sometimes and shows my children, like, you know, this is what your mom and I did, and they're like, oh my God, how cool is that? And we're like, no, it's not cool. Um, to the near future, my daughter and I are on the kinetic. We are wearing helmets <laughs> this time. And uh, we're coming back from Leelavati Hospital. Um, my son was in tuition. And we were coming down the road and on the scooter, on a kinetic, and an auto rickshaw comes down a one way and comes right at me. By now, I'm a lot older, very careful. But he was coming down a one way and she was in front. You know how we all just load up our bikes and say, it's OK, you know, put one in front, put one in the back. We're safe. We know what we're doing. The thing is, we know what we're doing, but other people don't know what they're doing. And they don't care. 
Um, the auto rickshaw was coming so fast that I braked. We skidded and she broke her arm. Um, he didn't stop, he rode away. And the passerbys picked us up. We, luckily we were near Leelawati. But when we went to Leelawati, it took three hours for an orthopedic pediatrician to come to her. She had a broken arm and her scream still resonate in my head. And um, it's amazing, but this whole new avatar of mine came from me buying a helmet for safety. I decided I needed to wear a helmet. I decided I needed to promote it with my children, with my children's friends, people who ride. Um, it's, it's, uh, I can't even explain to you what if you feel that you're going to lose someone and you're there and you feel that responsibility, you have to be very careful. So I'm going out there. I'm creating awareness with people where it comes to drugs, alcohol, drunk driving, reckless driving. It could be anybody's mother, father, brother, sister. The next time you get into a car, the next time you get into a bike, the next time you do something, be careful. Don't do it because it's peer pressure. Don't do, do it because you want to be cool. I am a living example of the things that I did that went wrong. I'm, I'm a living example of being lucky and I really truly feel that maybe someday somebody you know will not be lucky. Thank you.